Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about cholestasis of pregnancy and pruritus gravidarum. Cholestasis of pregnancy is also called intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. This condition is due to a disorder of the intrahepatic drainage of bile and usually manifests during the third trimester, so towards the end of the pregnancy and it is characterized by elevated liver enzymes in the maternal blood. Cholestasis of pregnancy is relatively rare. It occurs in around 0.1 to 0.7% of all pregnancies. What are causes of cholestasis of pregnancy? Until now, we are not really sure what causes it. That's why it is sometimes also called idiopathic cholestasis of pregnancy. Researchers have however found out that there are some risk factors such as having a viral hepatitis, having multiple babies in the same pregnancy and having had cholestasis of pregnancy in a previous pregnancy. What are the symptoms of cholestasis of pregnancy? The main symptom is a severe itching. The itching is called pruritus gravidarum. The itching often occurs particularly severe in the palms of the hand and the soles of the feet. The itching can be so severe and persistent that it can interfere with activities of daily life or with sleep, leading to insomnia. It can also lead to psychological distress and anxiety. By the itching and scratching, the skin might be damaged and scratch marks may be seen. In many cases, the bilirubin is so elevated, which leads to jaundice, so yellowing of the eyes and skin. Other symptoms are dark urine and pale stools, by the increased levels of bilirubin, as well as loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting. Cholestasis of pregnancy has also been associated with an increase in perinatal complications such as preterm labor and stillbirth. It is thought that the increase of the risk for the baby and the bile acid values are approximately proportionate to each other. How can we diagnose cholestasis of pregnancy? The diagnosis is typically established by taking a blood sample and measuring the levels of bile acid, bilirubin and the transaminases. An elevation in those values is suggestive of cholestasis of pregnancy, especially if it occurs towards the end of the patient's pregnancy. To definitely diagnose cholestasis of pregnancy, Ideally, the three following points should be present. First, the patient experiences a pruritus that starts in the second half of the pregnancy. Second, the aminotransferases and bile acid levels are raised. And third, that the symptoms disappear and the blood values go back to normal ranges within three weeks after delivery. How can we treat cholestasis of pregnancy? Therapy with orthodeoxycholic acid leads to a significant improvement of symptoms and to a decrease in the liver values. However, it is not clear if it also reduces the associated risk for the baby. Is there any prophylaxis? It is recommended for women who experience pruritus gravidarum to have regular appointments with their gynecologist. The blood values should be checked weekly, as well as a CTG and sonography should be made to monitor the baby's health and development. As the risk is thought to rise towards the last weeks of the pregnancy, also an induction of labor at week 38 can be considered. What are possible complications? The complications for the mother are liver inflammation, so hepatitis, gallbladder stones and pancreatitis. These complications are rare but can be serious. Complications for the baby are potentially life-threatening. 
They include preterm birth, which is the delivery of a baby before 37 weeks of pregnancy. Preterm babies are more likely to have health problems, such as respiratory problems, feeding difficulties, and developmental delays. Other complications are stillbirth and meconium aspiration. Meconium is the sticky green substance that is in a baby's intestines. If the baby passes meconium before or during delivery, it can be inhaled into the lungs. This can cause a serious lung infection called meconium aspiration syndrome. Cholestasis of pregnancy can also cause fetal distress, which is a sign that the baby is not getting enough oxygen or nutrients. Fetal distress can lead to brain damage or even death. That's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.